Welcome to maybe the only modern RTS game, except Age of Empires now, that we have a game called Spellforce. Years ago, I played Spellforce 1 and 2 as a child, and um, the studio behind it apparently still survived to some degree, and they decided to create a modern RTS game. Um, it's a mixed RTS hero game, so you don't only have he um, armies and can build buildings and all of that kind of spooky stuff. No, you also have heroes. I mean, I already let's played Fallen Gods, the second great add-on. Um, I have already played Spellforce 3 when it came out, 2016 or 17 something, years ago, before I started my YouTube channel. Um, and now they reforced, <laughs> not reforged, no, reforced. Um, it's a kind of a bit of a joke, you'll understand it later on. Um, as you can see, they improved the original campaign called The Burning Blood. That's here. This is the original campaign. Then there is the first add on Soul Harvest, the Dark Elves and Dwarves, and then there is Fallen God that we let's play Fallen God, the Trolls. And we're going to dive into Burning Blood now. Um, extras? Yes. Back in the days, I used cheats uh, in Spellforce, the first game, because the AI was ridiculously uh, difficult. They uh, cheated like hell and constantly bombarded you with um, huge armies. Apparently, they improved the RTS mechanics and reworked the factions and the designs uh, introduced in Fallen God and Soul Harvest. They updated the skill trees with the mechanics introduced in the expansions, so we're up to date in that regard. They uh, updated the skill trees with new spell mechanics introduced. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, they imp improved the quest flow. I'm not sure wh wh what that is, but we're going to see. Um, loot distribution for smoother progression, uh huh. Added and improved unique artifact puzzles, uh huh. Visually and functionally enhanced the user interface. We worked crafting, AI balance overall. Um, as I said, it was uh, unbalanced as heck. Uh, hopefully, they um, improved upon it. Uh, complete rework of the hub for minimizing downtimes, uh huh. Fixed all campaign and quest logic issues of a 40 plus hours long campaign. I actually played, uh, my Steam says I played this game for 64 hours. So I dived into this campaign for 64 hours. Um, let's see if we can get even longer now. Even though I'm pretty sure that I'm only going to play a couple rounds. Halo Infinite gets released today and I will play Halo Infinite for sure. Alrighty. Um, we also have improved co-op mode. I don't really care about that. I'm not going to co-op play Spellforce. Um, I do like to play a couple rounds with my friends, but usually um, games like League of Legends or Rocket League or Call of Duty or anything like that uh, fast-paced games where you can just dive in and immediately experience something. This requires a lot of cooperation and time. That's a bit problematic. Full yeah, gamepad support, I don't care, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Um, journey mode. An additional game mode similar to the original Spellforce's free game mode. Providing more than 20 hours of unique content and a lot of replay value can be played in co-op. We're going to dive into that later on. Um, arena mode, skirmish map, bitter canyon, set in a mountainous environment. Improved mod support. Uh huh. Versus chains. Yeah, I'm. I'm not the biggest fan of um, ladder games. Um. So let's dive into it. I'm going to end this episode, and we're going to start with burning blood next time. So until we meet again.